Hey guys, on today's video, I want to show you girls and guys how I achieve a moisturized blowout. Most naturals won't tell you or show you how to achieve a moisturized blowout. And the reason why I say that is because most naturals tell you not to use heat on your hair. They say because it dries your hair out. But they don't ever tell you that you can actually have a nice moisturized blowout. And I'm going to show you that in this video. The key to having a moisturized blowout is to use products that don't have like sulfate in it and a lot of alcohol. And I told you guys uh, when I did my flat iron style last year, I was telling you girls and guys that when I was using a moisturized shampoo and conditioner, when it came, for me, when it came time for me to blow dry and flat iron, flat iron my hair, my hair seemed like it was just swelling up. So it didn't get that straight. But I realized I was using products with the moisturizer in it. So now I want to achieve a more moisturized blowout without my hair being super dry. So I use this shampoo here. This is Dr. Miracles and it has it's no sulfate and paraben free. It conditions and moisturizes at the same time. And um, I'm gonna show you girls and guys how my hair looked when I use this product when I blow dried it and stuff. It was my black vanilla smoothie um, review. And here, here it is right here too. Yeah, I haven't, it's kind of discolored. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's kind of discolored because I have not been using my products. So this year I'm gonna start using my products. But this is so thick and creamy, guys. This is black vanilla uh, moisture and shine hair smoothie. So let me get a little bit and put it on my hand. Just like that, that's what it looks like. And guys, this is like a, this is like a moisturizer mixed with a conditioner. And it smells so good. I like that black vanilla smell. So that's by Miss Jessie's. So, like I said, this is like a moisturizer and a conditioner at the same time. And when I use this on my hair to blow dry it out and stuff, it was, it made my hair feel so pretty and look so pretty and luscious. So I'm going to add a little bit of this in my hair. I put my conditioners in all the same way. Once I finish conditioning my hair, I'm going to blow dry it. And then I'm going to come back on the screen and show you guys how my hair look after I blow dry it. I don't know if I'm going to blow dry it on camera because I just did a blow dry. So I had somebody to ask me, could I do a demonstration of how I, on my one video called how, Why I Became a Blow Dry Natural can't really demonstrate uh, the products that I use, but I'm going to demonstrate how I got the look in the video. Because the products that I use had, a, um, had my, humec had my uh, humectic in it, and it was in the summertime. Humectics are not good in the wintertime. It dries your hair out horribly, horribly wrong. But using these two products give me the same look of how my hair looked in that video. Okay. I hate when that happens. Guys, if you ever go to the beauty shop and your stylist drops, your, drops their comb or their brush or their clamp, if they bend over and pick that clamp up off that floor and put it in your hair, you better tell them, uh-uh. Not today. You ain't putting that dirty thing in my head, Missy. Missy poo thing. Ooh, I need a uh, clamp. You see it? You see it just like that too. You call her Missy poo thing. You're not putting that in my hair. Missy poo thing. You get me a nice clean clamp, comb, brush. And you leave that thing on the floor. Don't put no dirty tools in my hair. No matter if I do do it at home. <laughs> but if they rinse it off or whatever, that's cool. But mm -mm. you're paying your money to have great service. Don't allow them to take anything off their floor and put it in your hair. This kind of like remind me of a, of my March Lano Luster. You guys know I like that product too. It kind of like remind me of that. But it's a conditioner and it's not as thick, but it moves like it. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but I like it. I like it a lot. I have a, a link in the description box about the products that I use. So you can check it out for yourselves. 
So when I blow dry it, it's not going it's probably going to be that it's not going to be that straight. Plus my products, my tools don't get that hot, which is cool. Oh, this smells good. If you don't like vanilla, don't get it. Some people don't like vanilla. So I'm going to take my plastic cap, put it over my hair. If I can get it under there. Let it sit in here for about 10 minutes. Maybe five minutes. It don't take that long. Five or 10 minutes. I'm not going to sit under the dryer. Alright, and when I rinse this out, I'm going to show you what my hair looks like. And then I'll blow dry it off camera and come back and show you what my hair, my hair looks like after I blow dry it. Okay? See you soon. So this is what my hair looks like after I apply the conditioner and I use that shampoo. So you can see it has a nice deep moisturized shine to it and the hair feels really really great all right guys i finally finished blow drying my hair it took me 2022 years to finish and this a very long task blow drying my hair but i wanted to show you how big it was and how short it looks now mind you i did have a haircut in I keep wanting to say November, but I think it was December. It looks really short. And also another reason why it looks super short is because um, I did a protein treatment and I put that moisturizing um, shampoo and conditioner in my hair so it draws it up more. Hey guys, and happy Tuesday. I wanted to stop in and show you girls and guys my hair after I blow dried it from Saturday. And I didn't put any oil in my hair. It might be some, I don't think it is, but it, it doesn't feel like it's any oil from my previous um, moisturizing seal but this is basically shampooed and conditioned hair just with moisturizing shampoo and a moisturizing conditioner so you can still see how my hair do not look dry even after the third day so you guys know a lot of times when we blow dry hair it looks so dry it feels dry and brittle my hair doesn't feel dry or brittle or anything so I just wanted to show you what my hair looks like even after a few days. So I'm thinking about um, taking these down and making them into, into smaller plaits because I think that's what I want to do. I just threw these plaits in my hair with no kind of pattern or anything because I was tired. This hair makes me tired guys. But I wanted to show you how my hair looks with no oil no act no no extra oil rather this is just flat out shampoo condition and blow dry it feels soft too and the humidity did get hold to it a little bit but the, the conditioner that i used drew the con drew the humidity to my hair and made it even more soft and moist so guys you don't have to go by that you know you're not supposed to you can't use heat in your hair and blow dry your hair and stuff like that. You can still blow dry your hair. You just have to monitor how you do it. You can't do it all the time. But your hair doesn't have to be bone dried out and brittle because you use a blow dryer. So I have all the braids down and I'm going to do a quick spin around so you can see the back. Now my back is kinkier and sometimes it might be slightly drier than the rest of my hair. So hopefully you guys can see a nice shine and you know, uh, no kind of dryness in the back. So yeah guys, this is what hair care can do for your hair. I have a little bit of oil over here I'm going to add in. This is one of my favorites. You guys, you guys have seen it before. It's by Softy African Shea Butter Hair and Scalp Conditioner. I'm just going to add a little bit of light oil to it so you guys can see how that moisture and this shine bounce back real quick after this blow dry. So like I mentioned before, whenever I, I used to, um, when I used to want to flat iron, well the last time when I tried to flat iron and um, well blow dry and flat iron my hair, this is in 2016, yeah. That hair would just not get straight for any reason. It was just 
drawing back up. Well, that's what it was. I was using moisturizing products to do my hair that day. And I didn't need that. So, since I learned that's what that was doing, I figure I better not use that if I want my hair to get straighter, easier. So, yeah. Turn it on. So you guys be asking me how I get that look of big old full hair and I just take my oil and I'll oil my scalp and stuff too and put oil on there just like I would if my hair was straight or in its kinky state. So guys that is it for this video and I hope you enjoyed it. It's something different and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!